In the previous video, we talked about how to install Blue Prism Learning Edition. Now, in this video, we will talk about Blue Prism User Interface Overview. Here you can see once you log in into this Blue Prism tool, you will get six modules. Here we have Home, Studio, Control, Analytics, Release, and System. These two are different. I will talk about this later. And here left side you can see vertically the same thing. Once you will click on Home, it will go to this one. Once you will click on Studio, it will go to this. Control, then this. So same vertically also and horizontally we have the same things. You can directly go from here or you can directly click on here. Home module is basically designed for the dashboard where once you log into this blue prism, you will see this default page where you can see the dashboard of workforce availability, total automation da dashboard, queue volumes. Now in this studio tab, this is the blue prism studio where you can design your workflow. You can create a process. In this studio module, there are two different sub modules here one is process second is object in process we can create a process and in, in object we can create an object which is used to interact with the application now this is control so control module is also called control room here we can assign our process to the resources that is called digital workers and here you can schedule your process and you can run from here you can manage your queues sessions and this is the analytics module here you can customize your dashboard which will show on this home page here you can see this is the default dashboard and with the use of these tile libraries we can make changes to these dashboards so here we have a different different pie charts and column charts and like this so if you want to change anything you just need to find out let's say we have to change this workforce ability so you just you just need to find out that double click on that and if you want to change that chart type you can just click on that select that if you want to ch change that you can just select and press ok so here you can see that has been changed now now in the releases module here you you can create a package and you can create a release so that you can share with the users share with the dev other developers they so that they can work on that this is also used to create a complete release and then share with the developers so that they can you know move to the production from UAT and in this package in this release we can combine objects process data items queues environments everything we can put in one package and we can create a release and we can share with the developers now this is the digital exchange this is nothing but just a hyperlink so it will redirect you to the digital exchange blue prism here you can find and learn more about the blue prism tool okay now here we have system module system module is like a, a administrator panel where you will get all the things to manage so here you can manage your process you can manage your objects you can manage your resources you can create queue you can also create user accounts you can change the roles of of the users you can check your license you can do multiple things here and now the last one that is my profile this is nothing just for the changing password and sign out and here you can see this is the refresh button for each tab if you click on studio you will get refresh and create control so you will get only refresh in the bottom you will get sign out option so this is the complete blue prism user interface overview in the next video we'll talk about what is process studio and how to create a simple process